Hello everyone. Today we will be learning Angular CRUD operation. Uh, the topic will be contact management system and here we will be creating a, a CRUD app uh, in uh, contact management system project. So uh, I am in my empty folder. So let us create a project first. So in empty folder, uh, first I will give you command prompt cmd and I will hit the code ng new contact management so we'll be creating the project which is our first step and uh, this is asking whether we want routing or not yes we will require the routing i'll give yes so project is been installing now uh, the packages are been installing in our project so let us wait uh, so our project has been installed so i'll go inside the project first cd contact management so i am in the right area now i will open the vs code directly from here code dot so let me open the terminal So first let me try to run the project. So the project has been building. So our project has been running at HTTP localhost 4200. So let me run and show. Okay, this is the default one. Uh, so let me remove the default one. Uh, so I'll go to app html apart from this router out outlet i will remove everything and let me see so next step is we will be installing the bootstrap uh, here we will be not using any angular material or anything so using the simple bootstrap, we'll be doing the project. So let's install the bootstrap. So I'll go to bootstrap. Uh, not on the bootstrap. So the first official website I have to visit it, get bootstrap.com. So after visiting there, I'll copy this link. I'll go to my VS code. I'll go to my index.html and above the head tag I'll paste the first link. So again I'll go, I'll copy this link and below the body I'll paste and save. So to cross check uh, bootstrap is installed properly or not, uh, I'll give a hello and check. We can see this is of bootstrap. So bootstrap is successfully installed now. So let me remove this. So I'll open a new terminal. So here we'll be creating some components. So our project is contact management system. So first very first component I'll be creating is contact list. So ng g for generate c for component uh, and inside the component folder i have to create and that is contact list so contact list uh, component has been created uh, we can see here so i have to route it now uh, so i'll go to my app routing module.ts yes so uh, let me set the routing for this so path path will be contact list and component will be So 
component will be yes contact list component so this got auto imported uh, when I fetch this I'll copy it yes we can see contact list works so routing has been set for contact list component so now I'll be working on this contact list component itself so first I need a navbar here so in comments to understand it uh, I'll write navbar so blue color navbar uh, I'll be using it so I'll be using div class equals to uh, navbar navbar expand these are all the bootstrap classes you can learn if you want uh, primary primary because we want blue color uh, and then uh, like um, I want a heading tag uh, before that I use a container fluid class equals to container fluid uh, after that I'll use a h1 tag and I'll give contact management system credit contact management credit uh, let me save it and check mm, okay. Uh, we will be doing the changes now as of now it's not looking so good uh, so on the h1 uh, I'll give style uh, color I will require white itself uh, font size let it be someone around 24 pixel font size I'll keep 24 pixel Uh, and here I need one button add contact button uh, that I'll be doing so um, after that I need a button as well uh, this is a bootstrap button simple one uh, add contact so let me give class equals to btn btn uh, success green color button I can use ok let me see so let this button be inside this tube so let me put this button inside another div still button is here let me see so let me make this name and save so let me close that div here somewhere around wait so I take a div here and see so I think our container spelling uh, is wrong so let me make it proper and yes now we can see uh, add contact so we require an image so let me name it as image section Image section left side will be having the image uh, so let me 
let me take a div plus equals to container fluid uh, I need a row class equals to row uh, after that uh, I'll use div class equals to call sm file and I'll take div class equals to image so a image I need actually so I have a, already an image I will give the link below so this link I have of one image so I will copy this a description I will be giving that src equals to uh, this is the path of that image uh, or a link so let me close this and save uh, so this image has come I uh, will be setting the CSS for this image so let me go to contact list component or CSS so dot image width 600 pixel will keep margin top uh, let it be 85 pixel a class not the CSS equals to fluid okay uh, here one table will come now I'll be creating a table So let me go to bootstrap. So let me comment it here where table will come will be coming because we can understand it later. Table will be coming here. So I'll go in, I'll do it is the first link of the get bootstrap official website. So now let me see which table we can take. Okay, this simple one table borderless table I will be taking. I'll copy this, paste it here. Table has come below. Let me check. Mm, okay, I didn't give the row. Uh, row I have given. This class I have didn't give. So now I'll give the class. Give class equals to call sm. Let it be seven. table uh, table thing I'll paste it here inside this uh, so we can say instantly table has come here so little margin top I'll do by CS, uh, this one bootstrap class empty to let me mm, okay uh, so next thing is uh, changing this uh, first I need first name uh, 
first name and then I require last name and then we'll be requiring phone number system and request city we can replicate this one day. and after that action I will require So this dummy data um, I'll be removing. Let me keep it as like um, all this thing extra I don't want for me. This has been created. So after this, now next is like add contact. Um, so let me let me create some components uh, which are required in our project. So ng g for generate c for component and it will be add contact. So add contact component has been created. You can see add contact. So I'll keep the routing now. So app routing model dot TSL go first. So here path add contact component add contact component. Okay. Uh, after this, I'll go to my contact uh, contact list component, and here I'll be keeping a router link. A router link that is add contact. So if I go click on add contact we can see I'm going to the add contact page so I'll be winding up this much only this section so next video uh, will be adding the contact here I will be creating the things to add the uh, contact and we'll be looking on the validation part as well and after that uh, we'll also be creating login logout as well so thanks for the, uh, watching this part one video thank you